What's going on? My name is Jeremy Honnold and my company, Ramco Innovations, we're a national distributor for Optex FA. Now several years ago, Optex came out with an innovative line of laser measurement sensors called the CD5 series. One of the unique features of the CD5 series is the ability for the sensor to operate in standalone mode without the need of the control unit. It does this through serial communications. Now I've worked with several customers over the last few years and what I thought I would do today is sort of a how-to video on some of the more common questions and common things that people uh, run into when they work with the CD5 series sensor. This should help everyone get started. So well the first thing we're going to talk about today is wiring the laser sensor to an RS422 to USB converter. Secondly, how to set up communication via terminal emulator software. In this case, we're going to use Termite 3.3. And then finally, I'm going to go over some basic sending and receiving measurement commands to the laser sensor and then taking that data back to an Excel spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and roll the intro and get started. The first thing you're going to do is take the standalone cable and connect that to the CD5 series. Here's a picture showing an RS422 to USB converter. On the screen is a diagram showing how to connect the laser sensor to a RS422 to USB converter. RS422 is a technical standard that basically specifies electrical characteristics of a digital signaling circuit. It uses differential signaling and can have data rates as high as 10 megabits per second and can be sent on long cable runs as far as 1500 meters. So that's why it's often used in industrial applications because of the longer runs than serial RS-232. Here I am setting up the serial to USB converter and connecting it up to the sensor. Now you can go back and pause the screen where it showed the wiring diagram but Basically, the black wire is receive plus, and it's going to be tied in the transmit plus of the converter. The orange wire is receive minus, and it's going into transmit minus of the converter. The red wire is transmit plus, it's going into receive plus, and the yellow wire is transmit minus, and it's going into receive minus. The other wires have to do with the shield power supply, the black and the blue is a zero volts, the brown wire is plus voltage for the sensor. The other two wires, the gray is a synchronous input and the white wire is a laser off input. So you still have to supply 24 volt DC to the laser sensor. And then it's just a matter of plugging it into the USB port on the, on the computer. On the screen is a copy of the CD5 standalone mode instruction manual. Today we're going to focus on sending the laser a read once measurement command. I downloaded a copy of a terminal emulator software. There are a lot of different terminal emulators or other ways to verify communications with the laser, but I chose this program because it allows sending commands in hex. Once the program is running, select Settings and then select the COM port that is virtually created with the serial to USB converter. If you aren't sure, you can go to Device Manager within Windows. Termite only allows you to pick the active COM port, so it makes it easy if you only have one or two to choose from. I set the baud rate to 9600. The CD5 laser is at 9600 baud for the first five seconds after warm-up and then adjust to the baud rate stored in non-volatile memory. The default is 921.6K. I sent a command to the laser to go to 9600 for this tutorial. In the settings, make sure you have the hex view plugin selected. Inside the red rectangle is the command for sending a read measurement command. The commands are in ASCII, so I set up a simple Excel sheet in order to convert the commands to hex as well as decimal. The basic structure is to begin with a start of text, STX, which is 02 in hex, 
Then you send the command plus data, then the end of text, which is 03 in hex, and finally, you have to send an exclusive or checksum for the command, the data, and the end of text. To calculate the XOR checksum, I used the bit XOR command in Excel. So I set up the bit XOR formula to take the decimal value for M, the measure command, the question mark, which is read once, and end of text and came up with the number 113, and then converted that back to hex to get the 71. Another way I found to do this uh, very simply is to use the calculator that's built into uh, Windows 10. It has a function that allows you to do exclusive or of hexadecimal numbers. So then it's just a simple matter of entering in the numbers 4D for the M, 3F for the question mark, and then the ETX command and then I get the number 71. All right, let's position the target in place, open up the termite program once again, and enter in the command for read measurement. The 0x, the leading edge at each one of those values, just means I'm entering a hex number into it. Once I have that hit, I entered, and then I get the in green the data coming back from the sensor. The actual measurement data are the numbers between 02 and 03. The sensor I used has a measurement range of 65 to 105 millimeters. The measurement data from the sensor is a 24-bit hex number. On the Excel sheet, I entered the values for 65 millimeters, the center of the range 85 millimeters, and the maximum 105 millimeters. The data comes in as three separate hex numbers that I use the concatenate command in order to convert to the 24-bit hex number. I also set up a column to convert the hex to decimal. This data is in the instruction manual shown here. In the highlighted section of the Excel sheet, I enter the three hex values. I then use the same concatenate command to put them together into a 24-bit hex number, as well as the decimal number. Then it's just a matter of calculating the ratio of the result of 40 millimeters total range of the sensor and, and the decimal values in the G column. Here's a couple other measurements I enter in. All of the other serial commands for the CD5 series follow the same kind of guidelines. So hopefully this will get you going if you're taking a look at this uh, CD5 series for serial communications. I'll try and put a link in the description for the uh, converter module that I use, as well as a link to the termite software.
If anyone has any questions, they can go to our website, www.optex-ramco.com. Give us a call at 800-280-6933, and we'll be glad to help you. Thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.